During the wet summer season across South America, the rains can persist for days, swelling lakes and rivers, stretching out the shallows and creating seasonal pools. This is great news for amphibians. Their moisture-loving skins appreciate the humidity, whilst the shallows and pools make perfect locations for depositing eggs away from predatory fish. And so the warm and wet weather is heralded by a melody of croaks, burps, rafts and grumbles of the amphibians beginning their breeding season. One of these cries, however, is much louder than most. This beautiful thing is a Rococo toad, Ronella schneideri, and it's one of the biggest species of toad in the world. This is a female which is bigger than the male of the species, but it's the males who make all of the noise. These blasts can be heard from as far as two kilometers away, and they serve two purposes. They're a territorial call, warning away rival male toads, and they're a mating call, grabbing the attention of breeding females. Rococo toads have some impressive defences against being eaten. Their sheer size and composure are enough to deter most would-be predators, but some, especially snakes, still pose a serious danger. When threatened, Rococos inhale and inflate themselves like this girl's doing right now, and makes them even bigger and so even harder to swallow. What's more, from their skin they secrete a milky, noxious substance that, if swallowed, can cause nausea, vomiting and even death in some animals. As for what Rococo toads are themselves eating, it's insect larvae, beetles and ants that make up most of the menu. Because of their boldness around humans, the toads are content to approach human dwellings. Here, they make the most of flying beetles that are attracted to electric lights and crash land on porches, just like the huge longhorn beetle in the scene at the beginning of this video. It's big, it's tough, and it's very deserving of our respect. The Rococo Toad.